Good day YouTube. I'm brewed by me again. And today I'm going to be reviewing another beer. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Pump House SOB. Um, so it's a special old bitter. This beer was sent to me by the one, the only, the awesome uh, El Rock of Hewley Beer Reviews, uh, also known as Lee. He sent this from me from the East Coast. It's truly appreciated, man. Thanks a lot for this. Um, it's 5% ABV. Pump House SOB is located in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, standard Pump House cap. Um, you know, I uh, can't wait to try it. I'm, I'm quite uh, ecstatic. You know, I'm getting to try all these Pump House products and stuff that I can't get down here. And <coughs> my neck of the woods. But anyways, Brew by Me's uh, beer reviews. Subaru. BBBafa.com. Check out Brian. He'll get you one. It's my Grolsch glass again. So let's uh, open her up and uh, see what we get. Alright. So, as for color, uh, dark golden in color, nice carbonation, two fingers ahead. It's kind of a beigey white, small bubble head. I don't know if you guys can see that. Nice carbonation. So, let's give her a smell, see what we get. So this was sent to me in uh, December of 2011. It is now uh, March, April of 2012. Um, so it's uh, you know December, so January, February, March, April. So it's four months old. Um, so it should still be good. It uh, it's kind of uh, smells like a, a bitter should smell. Uh, Right off the nose, you get the the bitter characteristics, bittering hops, and then you get that sweet caramel, toffee kind of uh, back bone malt. Um, other than that, uh, you know, there's not much uh, to smell. You know, you smell that caramel, toffee, malt, and uh, the the earthy, woody. Um, hops. So uh, it looks good. Let's give her a taste, see what we get. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Initial sip, tip of your tongue, as always. Get that sweetness, and a nice maltiness. Uh, there's some caramel, some toffee, some kind of like a, uh, a sort, a slight candy kind of flavor. Middle of your tongue, it's the carbonation, which is medium. And as it goes to the back of your throat, it's like a wham. You get all the hops, the earthy, woody hops. Now, um, it's very, very earthy, very, very woody. It's, it's not extremely bitter, but it's somewhat bitter. By no means is it, uh, you know, a hop, uh, a hop bomb. And, you know, uh, it's kind of in between where um, a regular beer drinker and a hop head would like it to be. Because um, you do get that hoppiness from the woody, earthy hops. But it also has that kind of refreshing 
crisp, dry finish, which average beer drinkers like. Um, I am picking up a little bit of uh, fruits, mm. most uh, most likely. Uh, ah, excuse me, nice carbonation, as you guys can see. Um, kind of a little bit of a red apple, a red grape flavor. But uh, those earthy, woody characteristics really uh, come in at the end. Um, it's kind of a really, it's a decent uh, special bitter beer. Um, it's the first uh, special old bitter I've ever had, so uh, you know I can't compare it with anything, but. Uh, you know, it gets the job done, it does what it's supposed to do. It's it's good. Anyways, uh you know, there's some nice lacing on the glass as you can see. You know. The head's dissipated, so uh anyways, uh malt characteristics, I'm gonna say uh your pale and some maybe uh, crystal or munich malt. As for the hop characteristics, I'm going to say uh, Mount Hood and Willamette. I could be wrong. Uh, you know, I'm not uh, saying I'm perfect. I don't have a perfect record at guessing the malts and hops, but uh, you know, those are the kind of characteristics I'm getting from it. So, uh, you know, anyways, uh, a big thank you to uh, L Rock of Hewley Beer Reviews for sending me this. It's truly appreciated, man. Thanks a lot. It's <coughs> it's a decent beer um, all I can say is thanks a lot man um, anyways I uh, hope you enjoyed this video please rate, comment, subscribe leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box and I will get back to you as soon as I can um, anyways uh, thanks for watching until next time Brew by Me is out